All right, this is, uh, this is an oldie. When most people oh, picture yeah. the dance scene in Back to the Future, they picture Michael J. Fox's electric performance of Johnny B. Good. But my favorite use of music in the movie comes right before that with the Earth Angel scene. In this scene, Marty's playing guitar for the band at his parents' high school dance trying to make sure that George kisses Lorraine, guaranteeing that they fall in love and Marty's life doesn't get wiped from the timeline. As a scene that revolves around music, it accomplishes a few different tasks, but the most important is how it uses two different pieces of music to build tension and closure, Aaron Copland's fifth function of music in film and video. The scene builds two different kinds of tension with two different pieces of music. Using Earth Angel, an authentic 1950s love song, the scene builds an anticipatory sort of tension, letting the audience stew in the build-up to George kissing Lorraine and saving the future, or not kissing Lorraine and dooming Marty's timeline. Earth Angel is diegetic sound. We can see Marvin Berry and the Starlighters performing it. This smooth, crooning ballad being performed right in front of us helps build those first moments of a slow dance, when it could either be really romantic or a real letdown. This is for all you lovers out there. Earth Angel is continuously used to manipulate the tension of the scene. Here at 33 seconds in, Marty's guitar playing becomes discordant and his notes go sour. Suddenly, Earth Angel doesn't sound like the soft, romantic anticipation of George and Lorraine's first kiss. It's a reflection of suspenseful, dangerous tension as Marty starts to fade out of existence completely. <laughs> Here we have Earth Angel fade out and get replaced by the second piece of music in the scene, Alan Silvestri's aptly named Tension Slash The Kiss. The non-diegetic film score builds on the existing suspense with its shrill strings and foreboding high brass. It adds more tension in a way that Earth Angel just can't. And by being non-diegetic, there's this sudden sensory disconnect that's all the more unsettling. Before, we could see where the music was coming from, but now it's just there. It's more foreboding than Earth Angel by its own nature, but its invisibility is just icing on the cake. Next, the film score shifts back to its rousing brass motif of the movie's main theme. The anticipatory tension has never been higher. This is the final build-up to the moment we've all been waiting for. What comes next is the most brilliant use of music in this scene, and what it accomplishes is closure. Individually, neither Earth Angel nor Tension Slash the Kiss are quite grand enough to meet the emotional peak that this scene has built up to. These pieces have spent the last minute and a half building tension so high that what follows needs to match that energy, otherwise it just falls flat. Here's Earth Angel on its own. Earth Angel, Earth Angel, please be my and here's Tension Slash the Kiss on its own. Since neither piece is powerful enough alone, Earth Angel and the latter half of Tension Slash the Kiss come together in a grand triumphant melody that brings the scene to a beautiful catharsis as George and Lorraine have their first kiss, Marty's future is saved, and all is finally well. <laughs> 